supposed to do with these pictures? Where are the words, Ikea? Where are the words? <laughs> Good morning, happy Saturday. I had these little glasses on to kind of distract, but they're actually distracting me on camera, so I took them off. Um, happy Saturday, first of all. Secondly, oh God, please hold. I literally just can't take how swollen my eyes are. I need a freaking distraction. These are prescriptions, so these are not hurt my head. You know what? These kind of look like glasses, so I'm just gonna wear them in my house. Good morning, happy Saturday. <laughs> Welcome to a new day. So y'all know in the last vlog I was telling y'all that we have our yard sale today. And I was supposed to be, you know, working on my closet yesterday, prepping for the yard sale. Why did I not do any of that? I did one shelf yesterday and I am at a point where I wanna call Ikea and be like, y'all need to run me a refund so I can purchase the white one or one that's in freaking stock. Because the thought that I have to sit here and paint all of those shells is sending me, okay? <laughs> but I wanna take it over there to see it in just a minute. It actually looks really good, but the true test is when I take it upstairs and put it up against the other ones. Pretty sure when y'all seen that clip, somebody was like, somebody who does DIY, it's probably like, um, why didn't you sand it? So I'm gonna try sanding the next one to see if it will like stick because I had to do like two coats in order for it not to show the white. Anyways, um, that's that. And then the, the little god dang, what'd you call it? The clothing rack that I showed y'all in the last vlog. I ain't even built it yet. I ain't tagged not one article of clothing or home. Okay? So, it's literally an hour and eight minutes before this yard sale starts. Whatever. These glasses are freaking dirty. I went on and got a, um... Last night just didn't go the way that I thought it was, but it was a lovely night. My husband made homemade hamburgers and we went outside like and enjoyed the day. There wasn't a bug in sight. It was wonderful, okay? It was wonderful. Maybe if I stay away, I won't have to actually wear the things. What do you think? Um, but yeah, it was really nice. We was out there dancing for a little bit and then we came on the inside and started dancing. Had a couple of drinks, threw back a shot. Woke up with a headache at four o'clock this morning, took me some medicine, went back to sleep, and here we are, late. So anyways, before I get my day started, I wanted to show y'all my jewelry that I'm wearing today. Oh my gosh, y'all, when I got these in the mail, super excited. But I'm showing you because Mother's Day is coming up and I'm very excited about the necklace that I have on and I feel like your mother, your sister, your auntie, or somebody who's a mother figure in your life, a friend that's a mother, I feel like they would really like these. So first, the rings. This ring right here, um, the snake ring, is one that I showed y'all in a previous video, but this, it's like an eternity band. This is called Manette Green, y'all. It is so cute, especially for stacking. Loved it so much, I got it in this color. So I actually wore this one to the wedding and I forgot to show it to y'all, but y'all, they're so cute. Y'all know I hate my hands, but these are so freaking cute. The quality is amazing. So I'm gonna have these linked. Um, and then I obviously, like I always wear my Annalisa earrings. This is the bigger version. I sleep in these, I shower in these. If you're looking for jewelry that does not tarnish, that is of quality, but also affordable, Anna Luisa. And the icing on the cake is my cute little mama necklace. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. I think Mother's Day is May 14th. And it's a good alternative to like, if you have multiple kids, um, just having something that says mama, as opposed to trying to get a necklace that has everybody's name on there. If you have like five kids, you literally would have to have their name around your neck. But if you're interested in personalized jewelry, Anna Luisa has that too, so. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about these. So I'll make sure I'll leave everything down below and the details of the sale are gonna be on the screen as well as in the description box. So y'all make sure y'all click on the link and y'all shop because those mother figures in your life, they're going to be looking for their gift. I don't know about your mama, but mine will text me and say, here's what I want as if I ask. So anyways, <laughs> I'm about to fix myself some coffee to try and get rid of the remainder of the migraine that I have. 
and then we're gonna get started and then i'll take all over there to see the shelf okay because i'm acting like i got all the time in the world it's 8 35 girl bye okay while my coffee's brewing i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all why is my voice so freaking deep jesus this is what it looks like the strokes are terrible okay the strokes are terrible and i was like do i need to seal this i do not want this coming off on my shoes um it's actually stuck to the box okay i need it to the box oh her mercy jesus yeah, this is the front of it so this is what it'll look like i don't it's like a little white right there and i could stand to i could stand to paint it some more but it's not terrible and y'all can kind of see some white over there but it's like and it looks like it's the, in the exact match in terms of color but who want to do this i think i'm gonna obsess over what it actually looks like because these are going to be further up but i do think i'm gonna have to paint the bottom of this because it's not wood so i think it'll work out better if i actually sand the rest of them so that the paint actually seeps into the wood as opposed to just sitting on top of other paint if that makes sense maybe i'm not making sense but y'all see what i oh my god so <laughs> i need it to be like as if girl i thought i was gonna be more confident in this but why am i complaining because i never finished my full glass of coffee anyways i get too distracted mm, that's good i'm truly hoping to get rid of most if not all of this stuff but whatever we don't sell goodwill i hate donating to goodwill now but sometimes it's just the quickest and easiest option when you're trying to get rid of stuff <laughs> got instructions lord i don't feel like doing this does it have words at least because ikea don't I, what is that about girl this is super easy Voila, it's together and we are officially 12 minutes out from this what's the name and we still haven't tagged anything. All right, let's go. So this is our little setup, y'all. I forgot all about these dining room chairs that we had. This is the base of the table. We're selling the table and the chairs. I forgot about this. So anyways, um, I made $100 so far, maybe a little bit more than that. It's the aftermath for me. I don't like it. It's making my anxiety. Anyways, um, this broke on me. In case y'all were wondering. It was way too many clothes on there, but it did its job. Am I going to take it down and return it to Amazon? Say hey, friends. Mama recording you. Mm. I, look like, I look like a boy. Anyways, I'm trying to find me some basic. Why are you looking at me like this? Because it's supposed to be in here for groceries. It's Target. Hey, friends. No, me, neither. Ain't no friends. <laughs> All right, let me focus. Bye, 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 bye. 
So we're in the home section, which I haven't been in in a very long time in Target, and I'm still not impressed. Like it, uh, this is cute. You want to find Daddy? Those little stool things are cute. Huh? It's, it's very fluffy. It's given winter time though. This little side stool though, this is cute. But other than that, y'all, it's still the same stuff. I don't understand. Come on, Ben, let's go look at Hurt the Hand. You about to go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> you are so funny. What do we think about this? It's a vase. It's a planter. Oh, smell that. Smell good, don't it? It's a golden hour. Oh, that smell real good. This one is sunkissed ginger. You smell? You like that? You like it? I don't like that one. How about that? Let's see what else they've got. Oh, these are all golden hour. Ooh, lemon pie. It's okay. Reminds me of a hotel room we stayed in. It's okay. It's called. Um, it's called lemon pie. How much are these? Six ninety nine. I kind of want this golden hour. Cause it smells so good. Put this in my bathroom. In the guest bathroom. I think we're gonna get it. Babe. Logan on my phone. Benny, say hi. We're at Sprouts now. Getting groceries. 5 30, y'all. I was supposed to have a video up today. I don't know what. When I get home, I'm gonna finish uh, doing my um, shelves. Hopefully, I'll still be in the mood to do it. But. I feel like the days are long, but the weeks are getting yeah, shorter and shorter. Okay. Why is it? Why is it finna be made tomorrow? Somebody help me understand. Yeah. Why come? Mm -hmm. May child, May. Are you gonna stop? Like, are you gonna be stout? <laughs> we can have strawberry Not my stomach short. These things so good. Mmm. Gato. I'm kind of hungry. Hit the house with it. So I was watching Kyra's vlog. I haven't finished it. It was her Sunday reset vlog. And she had went to Sprouts and got this grilled artisan turkey and spinach ciabatta. I'm about to try it. Girl, this does not look good at all. This bread is so hard. Listen to this. Anyways. Good. Baby. Your bottom bread, this one. It looks good. Oh, there's no. <laughs> Does it taste good? There's no pull your teeth, no. This is real good. That bread is a no gut. I'm about to change that bread up. I need to switch out my whistling. Anyways, let me show you what I got from Twerk J. She fell off? Yeah. <laughs> this has got two workout sets. I don't know if I have this in blue already. A part of me feels like I do, but I kind of feel like I don't. I got a cute little sports bra. And these leggings. These are like the pink leggings I already have from Tiger. And I got them in pink. I actually want the, the longer sports bra to go with it, but I got the short one because I have the long one in my side. Showed y'all these earlier. This is what we're looking like. They look good. I don't think I'm gonna paint the bottom of them. He stuck to it. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm gonna put them in my closet and see how they do. Um, but I think these will be fine. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with putting the closet together today. It's six o'clock already, and quite frankly, I'm ready to go to sleep. So, good day. I know what I meant to ask y'all. If y'all had tried some of these um, snacks that I got from the store, hold on. I had to make me some uh, sourdough bread for my wolfman. My stomach kind of hurt. Please hold. <laughs> these right here, oatmeal chocolate chip bites. 
Should we try them right now? <laughs> the candle. Let's light it. Can you hear me on that uh, candle lighter thingy? There's like, there's like six in here, and I think this thing is six dollars. My battery's on. It looked like cookie dough. <laughs> it's good. It's good. All right, y'all. I'm tired. <laughs> come talk to y'all because I honestly don't feel like working right now and somebody just put a meeting on my calendar for three o'clock it's literally 2 21 like why are we doing this it's Monday it's the evening and I get off at four today so what's happening and for some reason they don't put like subjects anyways that's besides the point I just wanted to come and talk to y'all today you know hear my voice or what have you house is a freaking disaster have y'all ever tried these? Oh my God, they are so good. My husband randomly bought them when he went to Kroger one time and we tried them, they're heavenly. It's literally lemon water, it has five calories. And this one's dragon fruit mango. It says flavored with other natural flavors. Zero sugar, hydrating lemon water, it's really good. Hey y'all, so I'm headed to UPS to take back the stuff that I showed y'all that I got from Zara. I need them to run me my money. I think that's like 300 something dollars It's just been sitting in my living room. So anyways, I just realized that I haven't been leaving the house during the day. Is that a new Papa John's sign? It just looks a little bit vibrant. Um, I haven't left the house during the day, during the week. It's like, I feel like a prisoner in my own home. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so last night I finally put the, the pullout shelves. Um, I finally put those on the little Ikea unit. I would be so pissed at them. Missing that light because y'all was distracted. Um, I finally put the slimmer shelf together, so I'll show y'all what that looks like whenever we get home. Sorry, you just run the light. And then, um, I'll prob probably end up putting up the doors and stuff, but it's not going to be complete on this vlog. I feel like it's not. I edited this video, and literally, it's me painting shelves every single day. <laughs> Closet Chronicles continue. You, you. Why ain't no parking right here, Lord? Not a remote. Bean, y'all say hey. Hey. Wow. All right, so y'all, here's the progress on the Yo. closet. <laughs> I finally got a moment of peace to be able to come back on here and talk to y'all. When I tell y'all my kids, I got on my goddamn nerves. Baby, I have a glass of wine down there on ice waiting for me. And I vowed not to drink during the week, but today is an exception. So let me turn y'all around before somebody else come up here and interrupt my stuff okay so like i was trying to tell, i don't know why i was orange earlier but anyways like i was trying to tell y'all it's getting worse before it's getting better but we're making progress i have one unit done this slim one haven't put the doors on that one haven't put the doors on that one so my game plan is starting with one unit moving to the next it's not really working out i've also pretty much got this one done i just need to add the last shelf right there which i just put the first coat on the other side Jesus took those down the two glass shelves that I got to go right there y'all the paint peeled off when I picked it up and I listen at this point at this point I am literally ready to call it I have enjoyed updating my closet like it's something I look forward to each day like I haven't really been stressing myself out about getting it done getting it done it's like I just do a little bit a little bit of what I can on my lunch break and whenever I get done with work for the day but girl the painting part is sending me because why I would already be done by now if I would have just been able to get the stuff as it is if first of all I just think this is an indication that I don't know what I'm doing and that's okay but if you do know what you're doing then this process is just fine the, on the only bad thing about it has been the fact that 
I can't get the freaking paint to stay on there. So this paint right here, like I didn't paint the bottom of this shelf because you weren't going to be able to see it. Didn't paint the bottom of this because you weren't going to be able to see it. But the little pieces like this, I'm going to have to go back and paint those because eventually that's going to start peeling up. I got to get inserts to go in here because if I lay my shades on here and they get to slide around, the paint going to come up. So I don't know if it's because I didn't sand it. I don't know if I got too many coats. I don't know if I got the wrong paint. I don't know if it's just I don't know what I'm doing. But it's not working out, okay? So we just got to be gentle with the stuff that I actually painted. But we're making progress. We're almost done. So I'm going to do some more after we finish dinner tonight. After I drink my glass of wine. I might just go to sleep. That's the type of day I had, okay? <laughs> Bean is on one again today. It's not as bad. What you looking at? I'm talking about you. If y'all haven't noticed, I don't have a babysitter anymore. It didn't work out and it's perfectly fine. So, but honestly, I think that like I have literally been trying to like with everything that goes on, find the silver lining and everything. And I um, had my talk with God the other day and Basically, he has been preparing me mentally every single day. Good, bad, all of that kind of boils up to, I'm prepping you, I'm prepping you. So, it's been fine. It's actually been, it's actually been better than fine, honestly. But this past week, I haven't been getting up at five. I've been just allowing my body to wake up at whatever time it wants to wake up. And it's been working out because waking up at five, like my day starts earlier, but it doesn't end any sooner. So like I just been tired, but I got my bike in the mail yesterday. So hopefully we'll be able to set it up today. And then I can start getting up in the morning. I think we're going to set it up in the office, like in front of the windows. So you have like the sunlight coming in. Um, and I feel like that'll help me. Where are you going to go? Daddy's on the call. You can't go in there right now. I woke up with a um, migraine this morning. I don't know if it's because I had that wine yesterday that I was telling y'all about. <laughs> or if um, I didn't really like mentally sleep. Or I was asleep but my brain went, if that makes sense. So, um, but anyways, I just finished painting. I just, I just, y'all see the top of her head? I just finished painting the last shelf that I need to go up there. The two glass shelves dried overnight. We installed one of the doors last night, which was really good. So I'll show y'all that. And then I need my husband in order to install the other door. So I won't be able to do that till later on today. So y'all will probably see like the finished, finished product. I'm sitting here digging all in my, girl, she don't even want it. I'm sitting here digging all in my eye while holding her cookie. How dare I? You think you're gonna get some chips? We gotta go upstairs. This little girl, she's staying at pantry. Y'all, these flowers, I think these are lilies. That, no, yes, lilies. These smell so good. When I first got them, only two of them were bloomed, but now a few more of them have actually bloomed. So I'm waiting on these to bloom too. 
but oh my gosh, they smell so good. And it's like, I don't know, it makes you happy to have like fresh flowers, like whenever you're trying to work. And it's so cute because all of these are ribbed. I didn't even notice it. This is ribbed, the vase is ribbed, and the candle is ribbed. And the candle in combination with the flowers smell amazing. So I'll definitely just continue to like read, read, what is it called? Oh girl, I'll continue to get lilies because they just smell so good and they make me happy in the morning. We about to go upstairs in just a minute after she finished eating her tent snack for this morning. Judge your mama, not me, okay? The baby eats snacks. Whew, baby. I just got this closet as far as I can. Ooh, girl, the room is a mess. <laughs> it is a hot mess. I'm not even gonna embarrass myself like that. But girl, I just got this closet as far as I can get it. I just put the very last piece in this closet before it was time for me to actually show y'all this is as far as we're gonna get for the purpose of this video. It's still some other little things, but girl, I do feel like if I would've just called Ikea and got the right person on the phone, they would've been like, we can make something shake. But I just can see myself rebuilding this entire closet over a few little extra pieces. So anyways, it's, it's, we, it's good. I don't know how long we've been out of focus. But I'm gonna go show y'all what this look like. But girl, the, the amount of stress I've been under over this doggone closet. Oof. Let me just, I'm gonna see y'all when we get in the closet. Cause if y'all catch any glimpse of this room, baby, the judgment. All right, we made it. <laughs> Anyway, so it's a lot of stuff I still need to do in here, but I just want to show y'all the progress so far. So I still need to hang my mirror up. The bag's not staying there. That stool will likely go on the other side of the closet. But here are the doors, which I really like. If I would have had to paint these doors, like if I had to buy them white and paint them, that's where I would have gave up. Because the way that the paint is peeling off of here, these doors would have looked so disgusting. So anyways, thank you Jesus for being able to find these in stock to actually match the rest. So I'm going to add pulls to this that are similar to these. I'm going to go on Amazon today, tomorrow, something. I still haven't decided what I'm doing with these. If I'm taking all these clothes and putting them on the other end. Or if I'm going to hang like neutral color shirts out here. Because I want you to be able to see like or I want myself to be able to see this glass shelf. And then this is the pull out one. I got to get some inserts like these so I'll be able to put my shades and stuff on there. These are like acrylic riser things that my purses used to be on. These are the glass shelves. I'm adding the lights and stuff up here. I still have to organize all of those. If y'all have this Hermes book, this is the dumbest book. I, maybe it's supposed to be illustrations from the designer. I don't know, but I just opened it up for the first time. I was like, what the hell? So anyways, y'all see, I done scraped up this shelf some. Um, so I got to get my paint and do some touch up paint. I forgot that this, this mirror was actually sitting up higher. And I put the shelf on there without knowing it and scrapped it up. So it's fine. It's not the best paint job, but it's okay. No one's going to see it. No one's going to know. And then I started adding my perfumes on this shelf or unit. So I have all of, this is the only one that I actually had to hand paint. The rest of these I already had. So I'm probably going to line this one before I actually start putting stuff up there. Because I don't want it to scrape up. But who's that tall? Nobody's going to see that. But y'all let me know, should I buy more acrylic risers and put my perfumes on them going straight across or should I just leave them like this? I'm so excited to start buying more perfumes to add now that I have a whole shelf that I can dedicate. It's some people that have like literally shelves filled with perfume. That's absolutely amazing to me and insane at the same time. And then this unit right here has all of my shoes. So y'all remember I said... The shelves I already had before I kept and then these are the ones that I had to paint from white to gray which I think I did a decent job on so I can pull it out see the shoes behind it so I have three of those and I just have those up there and then I put only one of the basket bins which I'm keeping all like my sandals and stuff in instead of doing like two of them but I have shoes like in the back so there's four pair of shoes on each shelf but those are not pulled out so it's like whatever they're low enough for me to actually see them and these are higher and I can see that and then I also decided to do a bin down here, which I just have like travel stuff and then some boots. And then this unit right here at the end, which I still need to attach the bin like this down in there, which I'm keeping like my shorts and stuff. So I still need, I have a whole rack that's empty up here that I'm going to use to put some of these clothes in. But that's how much clothes I got rid of to where I don't have to have three different units. So I'm, I'm proud of myself. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's the update. That's how far we've gotten. So I still need to get pulls. I still need to do like, 
I still need to do like touch up paint. Um, and then I'm just going to see like whatever, what other little organizer things I want to get to go in here. Like for these purses, for example, I think they have like these acrylic dividers to where you can like put the purses in between the divider. So when you need them, you can like slide that divider out. I think I'm thinking about that correctly. The way I seen it on a reel. Oh, and then we just have to add like the lights. So I definitely want to do lights on this unit. Probably lights on that unit and then possibly even lights inside of each of the units on the end. So when I open the door up, like I can have lights in there to actually see like the clothes. Just being a little bit extra. Should we do a little runner in here? Do we need to do something right there on the floor? Should we get like a nice little light to go at the top? Y'all let me know. So I will talk to y'all on the next video. Y'all this shirt is so little. I got it from Zara to go with these black cargos that I got from Zara. Girl, this is fitting like a bra. Absolutely not. So, I had to wear it with some sweatpants that I could, like, tuck my stomach into. But anyways, that's besides the point. So, I think it's going to be cute. Look at this. Somebody fill it in. This is from the last mirror that I had hanging there. <laughs> I am the hole in the wall queen, baby. Anyways, let me stop rambling. So, I will see y'all in the next video. I'll have mo more closet updates in the next video. And then I will also potentially have some guest bedroom updates we're going to be putting my bike together to go in the guest bedroom so i got to kind of reorganize it maybe that's an opportunity for me to bring up the um rug that i was supposed to bring up like two months ago but anyways make sure y'all also check out the link for anna luisa i have been wearing my mama necklace literally every single day um like i said you use my my code which i included on the screen earlier in the vlog and i'll include it in the description box you can save 20 percent off your purchase so y'all make sure y'all check them out. But I will see y'all hopefully, fingers crossed, on Sunday. Bye.